Tibia is an old school MMO, and that doesn't just mean it's old. It also means it's terribly hardcore. Dying in Tibia causes you to lose the equivalent of 20 hours of XP farm time, and it spills your inventory on the ground, so anyone can show up and take your rarest piece of equipment and run off with it. The loss of XP on death also works if another player kills you, so someone who doesn't like you at all can perfectly hunt you down and kill you over and over again for weeks until your high-level character that took you years to level up comes back to level 1. Tibia was clearly created at a time when giving players freedom was more important than preventing them from ruining each other's lives. And it seems to please the hardcore players who continue to play it, because almost 23 years after the release of Tibia, there are still nearly 10,000 active players, and it is the favorite game of the biggest YouTuber in the world. In Tibia, some doors can only be opened if you have a certain level, so that noobs don't get lost anywhere too quickly. And since there is no level limit in Tibia, one day the devs decided to have fun and make a level 999 door. At that time, we were in 2005, already eight years after the release of the game, and the best players were barely level 200, so clearly they thought that this door would never be opened. But there are two things the developers didn't foresee. Firstly, that Tibia would still be working at full speed 20 years later, and secondly, that the players would end up knowing the game so well that they would be overpowered. From the 2010s, the farming techniques are optimized, and one day the community realized that a Brazilian player named Karsek is going through the levels at a speed never seen before. He has the best farming route of the game, and a whole team to heal him and buffer him so that he doesn't lose a second. He goes so fast that the community starts to follow his progress on YouTube. One fine day in August 2016, just a few days after the 20th anniversary of the game, Karsek passed level 999. It was not so long ago back in 2016. There was already Twitch, and there were already streamers. Karsek could have made a historical live of the first world opening of the door. But it didn't happen like that at all. He went through the door, didn't tell anyone, and took off. And for weeks, nothing at all. And because of the lack of information, the community is frustrated and started to get angry at those who have put obstacles in the way of Karsek for years. Because obviously, since Karsek was known, he attracted a lot of idiots, and there were people who had fun killing his mobs to make him lose time. And now on the forums, it's starting to be said that he's been annoyed so much that he'll never tell us what's behind the door. And then, as there's no answer coming from nowhere, the community ends up in desperation by turning to Devonica, who is the second closest player to level 999. Well, he's still far from Karsek's level, but with a few years of effort, he will eventually get the right to go through the door. As he suddenly finds himself in the center of attention, Devonica shifts into second gear, and he finds himself only one year away from level 999. And on June 23, 2017, the entire player community rushes to his stream to discover a secret that they waited a whole decade to see, and that Karsek kept for himself for one year. Behind the door, there's an island, Schrodinger's Island that the devs decided to call it, because of the players who claimed for years that there was nothing behind the door. The island's not very big, but there are some interesting objects. A congratulatory message already, some NPCs, and this, a golden helmet, the best helmet in the game. So I could tell you how in 97, just a few months after the release of the game, the helmet was removed from the inventories of all players, because according to the devs, the helmet was too easy to get at that time. And how the next day, Galadriel, the most powerful magician of Tibia in 97, went to kill the demon of the depths of the city of Mintwallen and got it again. She immediately sent an email to yell at the devs and told them that it's not possible, that you guys have a hell of a nerve, and it's still easy to get this helmet without realizing that she just got a unique drop, and that what she had in her hands was the only golden helmet that has ever existed in Tibia. And of course, we are in a game where you can eliminate anyone to steal anything, so Galadriel ended up losing the helmet. And we could talk about all the famous players who had the famous helmet in their hands, but the stories would never end. So, I thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you soon on GameFox.